Hello everyone, Simeon Gabriel, and today we'll be looking at how we can connect our uh, MySQL relational database to our Jupyter Notebook. Now, uh, as a data scientist, as a data analyst, and uh, you'll be working with um, databases as where you can extract or collect uh, data for analysis. Okay, so you have to learn how to connect this database to your Jupyter Notebook. All right, now uh, we'll start by importing our required libraries. Now you see here we have imported our required libraries. Now impo most importantly, you have to import MySQL uh, connector, okay? This is what will connect the um, MySQL relational database to your Jupyter Notebook. Now I've imported it. I've imported mysql.connector. Now, if you haven't installed, if this throws you an error, that means you haven't installed it on your on your Jupyter notebook. You just have to do pip install, then you install it. Now, we'll, you see, we have our pandas here because we'll be reading any file that we load from our database. Now, this is matplotlib. Uh, we import the matplotlib the pyplot as plt. This is used for visualization. Now this import warning. Now this is to ignore every warnings that Jupyter notebook will throw to us. Now okay, having imported all this, now we will proceed by okay. Let's let's give uh, we're connecting our database. Let's say db db is uh, equals to um my square let's see my square oh sorry my square dot connector connector this is the first thing we have to do dot connect okay so once you are done doing this then i say um let me get this um okay so i write host okay then uh put uh local host local host now um sorry so this you say your user now your user you have to specify um what user this let me put this back all right so once you're done with this put your comma uh, put your comma then your password your password okay now this password is the password you you imputed why you were uh, creating your mysql relational database uh, your workbench yeah so i have my so i'll enter it okay i haven't done that oh sorry no okay so the last thing i will do i will enter my database yes yes for my database the database i want to work with so uh, the name is test uh, db all right so having done this okay now the next thing you have to do is uh we have to create um a cursor okay so I, I can say my my cursor I can give it my cursor that's the variable name i want to give to it now i say uh my cursor then this uh, variable name i use for the connector okay now i have to bring it here i say db sorry so i have to say db dot cursor okay so db dot cursor now these are cursor now uh so we've created it now let's see let's see let's print let's print uh uh database now if this doesn't trust an error that means we can continue so let's run this and see let's run this and see okay didn't trust an error so that means it was successfully um, connected all right you can see it my square dot connector dot connection dot my square connection object 
at this address okay so now well connected so the next thing we have to do is now we can also see a few things now what we do is uh we'll move further by okay by loading a particular uh table okay so we say microsoft.execute all right so microsoft.execute then what we'll do we say we'll write an sql query here then we'll say uh select select um select then asterisk asterisk means select all okay from uh, we have a table called uh, student student okay so now um what we'll do here is um i'll give our variable name called uh, output is equals to then my cursor my cursor dot now if i want to fetch everything under that table what i do is i say my my cursor dot uh fetch uh fetch all okay as i want to fetch everything there so that's the function i i, I use to fetch everything from that table okay so then I, i'll come here i loop through it i say for uh for x let's say for x in output in output then i say print uh print print x so let's run this so now you can see everything under that table called uh student all right now you can see the the everything has been put it so what we'll do here now is we will write a query let's give this a query so equals to now this is the query that will bring out um um uh, everything from uh database okay like we did here so what we want to do we want to put it we want to read the file in the pandas library okay so like in the form of data frame all right so what we'll do all right the sql query we'll say select um select all from um from students okay so select all from students so what we'll do now is um we'll say okay so we'll say students so let, let's give this a, 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 a variable so let's say st student let me say student uh student data so once i'm done doing that then i'll i'll say pd dot read read um underscore now this is a uh an sql okay this is an uh, uh, from we are loading the data from an sql database okay so i don't have to write um read dot read underscore csv because it's not a csv file so since we are loading the file from an sql relational database so we we'll say pd dot read underscore sql all right so now um what i do next is now this this um statement here this um sql query here i have to replace it here which is query I, I gave it a variable name query instead of writing it here so what i'll do is a query comma then the 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 variable name we use in connecting our database to a jupyter notebook is called db okay so just i have to bring it here i have to bring it here so i say db okay so what i do now is i have to run it now as if it didn't trust an error what we we'll have to do is or oh, start working with the data okay it didn't trust an error so now let's see how we can start working with this data so let's see um uh, student let's 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 load the data okay and view the data view view the data set okay I have to comment on it so we say student students data dot 
dot head. Let's bring out five observation of this data and see. So now you can see how we can load it a data frame. Now you see we can now we we can perform um some uh, exploratory exploratory um data analysis on this data. So to see um the features of the data. So let's see um I think so let's perform some know some things about this data so it's a student 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 data dot um the shape i want to know size of this okay now okay you see uh 14 rows uh, five columns now i can see um can still see some few things about this data student underscore data so i want to see the columns of this data so i say dot columns okay now um what else i can see a lot of things about this data on paste now I, we can see a uh, general info about the data so get information about this data you can see information about the data the name you can see 14 non null is an object is a data type age integer jams called integer um department object integer like that now we can also see other things about this data so let's see um let's see some descriptive analysis about this data i said that describe so this is how this is how you can you can import a uh, data set from uh, an SQL uh, relational database. Okay, now uh, you know we're working with uh, a MySQL relational database, so that's where we imported it from. Okay, you can see started by importing our required libraries. Okay, we went on to connect our um, database to a Jupyter notebook. Now you can see what we I fetched the data from a particular table called student, okay, student table. So you can see the data I put it there. Then what I did was I had to give a variable name to this SQL query here. So when I gave it, I had to load it. I had to read it, okay. I had to read it. So re in reading it, use the pandas library. So I I imported pandas as pd earlier. So I write the pd dot read sql because this is coming from an sql relational database okay so we are not dealing with a csv file or html or json file no this time we are dealing with an sql database okay so i have to this sql query i have given it a variable name so i have to put it here bring it here and comma then what i use in connecting the variable name i use in connecting the database to a Jupyter notebook so i'm having it here so that's what i did i had to view it and do the rest so thank you very much thank you very much please do well to subscribe to my youtube channel uh there are so a lot of uh videos i've done on uh, numpy pandas um, um functions in python i've done so much so you can check out my other of my videos and um maybe you can comment also if there's anything you want me to do all right if there's any difficulty you are facing please try to comment on the comment section so that i can be able to help you to resolve it so thank you very much have a nice day